a while ago on the hs mercenaries subreddit there was a leak of 22 hearthstone mercenaries that we will probably be getting in the near future and i wasn't too optimistic on leaks because most of the time there's a leak it's not really that accurate unless the leak is data mined but we have now got confirmed that captain yodora is going to be a mercenary in the upcoming mini set november 2nd which she was on it and we see valera on this and we've seen medivh which we've seen their kits because i've done videos on them so i thought it'd be really interesting to look at the mercenaries that are potentially coming on these leaked reddit posts now again i don't know if any of these are confirmed or denied but it gets a little bit more of a hope up and we can kind of try to see what kind of mercenaries we can look forward to as we continue playing this game if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it and you like hearthstone mercenaries make sure you subscribe and as always you look fantastic these are the first four mercenaries we're going to be looking at for these leaks now valera is already basically confirmed as a mercenary she was in the game and of course she was in the client that blizzard gave me uh for just an early access to mercenaries so i was kind of confused to see that she was not going to be in the actual game when it was released but if you want to go check out her abilities and everything about her her equipment and all that stuff it's on my channel i would highly go recommend you check it out because her kit looks fantastic now unfortunately for the rest of these i can't actually look at their abilities but we can kind of theorize what they could be like and look back on this and see if i was accurate when they actually do end up coming out so we have dame hazelbark dame hazelbark from what i know is a druid and if anything like druid it's probably going to be some kind of nature composition we will have another protector for nature most likely which can go into the comp with Malfurion, Goff, Brucon, whatever. Now, currently for nature, there's only one major nature protector, which is Malfurion. So it'd be kind of nice to have a second one for that comp if we want to go full nature. Again, this is all theorizing. I'm not 100% sure if she will be nature, but there's a good chance. Next on to Nemzi, we have a caster. Now, I have to guess that Nemzi will be some kind of warlock demon thing because that's generally what she has been doing from the lore that i know she is a warlock if you play the warlock class in standard you can actually pick her as a skin so i would imagine that this is what she will be um the thing about nemzi is that she's super like friendly with this bog thing so maybe there'll be something with mind control or something with uh creating and conjuring a demon that would be pretty cool and then last but not least we have low walker cho and I just want to kind of mention that we do see Blood Elf here, right? Like we don't see like tree or any category of class for Nemzi or Dame or Lord Walker Cho. Now that kind of gives you an idea that maybe pandas will not be an actual real class type or type just for a mercenary in mercenaries. Maybe they'll add it eventually, but Low Walker Cho is definitely another interesting one. Now, Low Walker Cho is definitely kind of a spellcaster and definitely more on the side of just trying to even things out as I know I don't know a lot about the lore of Lord Walker Cho I just know him from playing standard and seeing his interactions he's a really cool guy uh I don't know if Lo Walker Cho will be a super like offensive character probably going to be a high utility one but again I'm super excited to see what Lo Walker Cho can add to the game uh next on the list is probably going to be the more interesting ones in my opinion because these ones are kind of all over the place so starting off we have Arana now we already know Arana will be a demon hunter, but again, it does not say blood elf here, which I find very intriguing. This could be a reason for uh, balance and, or they just don't want her to be stacking with Illidan or night elf, whatever, what, what did I say? Blood elf, night elf. I, I don't know. Uh, I would imagine that she's going to be very close to what Illidan is right now, a super left or right side caster or something to do with working with her weapons and making them buffed. Uh, I would imagine that we could just look at Illidan and kind of give a pretty good idea of what Arana will be capable of, but she's not the more interesting one for me. Let's talk about the other ones. Now, Trigor the Lasher, there is a actual some of his abilities on out of cards, which if you guys want to see a full video of, I can. He is a beast and it's a protector. He does look really cool. And just to give you guys some idea, I'll mention some of his abilities in this video. These are kind of the abilities that you could be expecting from him based on what people have data mined. So frenzied attack, attack an enemy if it already took damage this turn, gain plus three attack and attack it again. Kind of like Samaro. Backlash after this mark is attacked this turn, deal eight damage to the attacker. Cool, really cool for a protector to have this. And then protect the herd, gain taunt this turn after this mark is attacked, gain 10 health. So really cool ideas. Obviously, this is going to be changed based on his max abilities. I and mean, I can't look at his equipment, unfortunately, but that's a pretty good idea of what he will be. 
and that looks pretty good for a protector. Yeah. Trigor looks like a pretty good mercenary just as a really strong protector. It kind of, you know, hits the void of health and attack, which I really like. Then we have Bane Bloodhoof, uh, which is awesome. We have another Torin in the game. Uh, maybe Torin will be its own class. And as we get more Torin synergy, it'd be really cool. Again, I don't know a much about Bane because I didn't really play World of Warcraft and he's not been super... I want to be like a notable character in Hearthstone because I believe Bane only comes out when Karen dies uh, from the death rattle. So I don't know. Uh, another protector, which is cool. So Karen and uh, Bane will both be protectors. Torin synergy is cool. I don't think we have any other Torins in the game at the moment. So we'll have to start building up that type the more they release mercenaries. But like Karen, maybe Bane will be some disgusting speed manipulation god. Or maybe he'll be the reverse of Karen and we finally have someone to counter the speed of manipulation. That'd be pretty cool. Next on the list is Death Speaker Blackthorn. Now, we've seen Death Speaker from the standard set of, I believe, Forge the Barons. And it's important to note that he is a Quillbor. So Quillbor will be added to Hearthstone Mercenaries at some point. And I could only imagine that he's going to do something with maybe summoning things or because Death Speaker just sounds like some guy who's going to resurrect ability so maybe there will be an ability here that is on a really long cooldown to resurrect one of your mercenaries that have died that would be really insane is that likely probably i could see it it's a caster it would make a whole lot of sense you defend the death speaker and it reses mercenaries that would be really cool it would add a huge dynamic to the game next on the list we have yodora which we just saw recently announced which gave me more confidence in actually sharing this yodora looked really cool and i'm excited to try her out when the new mini set launches to see how good pirates will actually be but then we have a couple other ones here we have chogal who will be an ogre i believe ogre is also a new kind of type for mercenaries so maybe there'll be another ogre in this list as well as potentially just a new type right there and Chogal I believe is also a kind of warlock demonish person so another support hopefully for demons to make demons actually quite good high inquisitor white mane is usually known for resing stuff as well her ability in standard was to resurrect every single mercenary that died this turn so any idea of that could be something like that maybe she summons things and they get resummoned if they die or maybe they have an ability called if your mercenary dies this turn resummon it which would be really freaking awesome to have in the game because that adds an extra layer of like should i bait this ability out or not it would be so so fun uh could be really toxic but again like uh, they have to go like outside the box with new mercenaries so i could definitely see it happening now garana is someone i'm not sure of i almost 100 percent think she will also be an orc but again, if there's no minion type here in this, also it's important to know that High Inquisitor Whiteman is a human as well. So if it's in a human comp and maybe that will make the humans just much better than they actually are right now. Garana is definitely cool as hell. Uh, probably an orc leader, uh, probably going to be some kind of fighter that works with Samaro and Rakara. Could be really fun to use a more orc-ish fighting comp to try to take down people and be faster again i don't know a lot about garana so if you know anything about her leave it in the comments down below and the last mercenaries here are going to be uh this page now we have Maev, who is i believe a another rogue again don't know much about her but if i could take any context from bgs and what she does in standard she is basically a capturer so maybe she stops a mercenary from attacking for a full other turn, doesn't freeze them, but makes them dormant. That'd be really cool. Now, Kazakus is very interesting because Kazakus was kind of the guy giving you the quest in mercenaries. Uh, I would imagine that based on what Kazakus is, it's going to be forming like maybe some random new mercenary conjuring like a golem. Uh, because it's golem shaper here and not just Kazakus, I don't really consider like the, the spell version of him. So it's probably going to be summoning golems that do very specific things. Do you need like taunt? Then you taunt. That'd be pretty cool. Also a troll. So we have a troll archetype coming and we have Naru Fireblade as an orc. Naru is kind of a warlock. I believe he summons imps and stuff like that. So again, a lot of a uh, shadowish orcish demon comps will probably come as these mercenaries get released, which will make that con composition pretty good, I would imagine. So if you're someone who is leveling up Jaraxxus or Manoreth and you're like, man, these characters suck, they'll come. They'll be coming at a time where maybe the demon slash or comps will be absolutely insane. We saw Medivh. I did a whole video on Medivh as well. Medivh looks very strong. 
I would highly recommend you go watch that video if you're curious. Medivh is kind of an arcane caster. Looks really, really, really good. I believe there's one more page here, actually. There is. Actually, there's, there might be two pages here. There is the uh, Magatha the Grim totem, which is another Torn. Kind of probably going to be a healer based on this photo. I don't know anything about them, but having more Torns as a class looks really cool. The Black Knight, which is a super character or super random character to have as a mercenary, but Undead is really exciting. Um, the only thing I know about the Black Knight is that it kills a taunt character from standard. So again, I don't know anything. Draka, no idea either. I, I I couldn't tell you who this character is, but it's another orc and a fighter. And then we got Manny. Manny's coming in as another orc. I don't even know what Mancrit could be. Probably something with finding his wife or maybe you summon something on their opponent's sides and if you kill it, he gets enraged. Who knows? Could be a lot of interesting ideas there. I wish I know like I had a better context of who these characters are, but yeah. But this is one more page. There is Elite Torn Chieftain. There is another Torn coming that is a fighter. So that means we'll have a Torn for a fighter, protector, and caster, which is super cool. Uh, he plays music, so his abilities are probably going to be something along those lines. And then we have Serena Bloodfeather, who is one of the first major bosses to go in uh, for bounties, which she summons things and they get Wind Fury, I think. Could be a wide variety of stuff for Serena, to be honest, because I'm not really sure what she does. But I'm really excited. A lot of these mercenaries sound really fun, and I, I love theory crafting and theorizing. So let me know what you think down below. Who do you want as a mercenary? I'm excited to see what Dr. Boom looks like because I have a feeling Dr. Boom is going to come eventually. But again, I'm excited. Make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed.